One of the best things about the guides in Logos is that you're able to completely customize them. Customizing your guides lets you focus on the things that are important to you, which speeds up your study and stops you getting distracted. To customize your guides, click on the Guides menu and choose Make a new guide template. The first thing to do is to choose what type of guide template you're going to create. Is it a guide for Bible references like the Passage, Exegetical and Sermon Starter Guides? Is it one for Bible words like the Bible Word Study or one for sermon themes like the Sermon Starter Guide or one for topics like the Topic Guide? Let's go ahead and select Bible Reference because in this example I want to show you how to completely customize your passage guide. First, it's probably easiest to add all the sections from the standard passage guide, then remove the ones you don't want. You delete them by clicking on the cross. You'll want these sections sometimes, of course, but you'll always be able to access them from the standard passage guide whenever you need to. Second, rearrange the sections so the ones you use most are at the top. I'm a big fan of the sermon section, so I'll drag this here. My content is less important to me, so I'll move that down. Third, add in your favorite sections from the other guides that use the same template type, like the Textual Variants section of the Exegetical Guide, or the Theme section from the Sermon Starter Guide. So now, instead of having to consult three different guides, you've got everything you want in just one. That will really streamline your study. There's one more thing I'll recommend. I like to consult different types of commentaries at different stages of my study. When I'm starting my sermon preparation, I want to read technical commentaries so I know I've understood the text. By the end of my preparation, I want to read expository commentaries to give me ideas for application and illustrations. If you're like me, join this Faith Life group called Commentary Collections and use the Groups tool to copy collections you're interested in. Now. Add some additional commentary sections to your guide and specify a different collection for each one. All you need to do now is to give this guide a name. You can call it whatever you like, but if you want it to be your default passage guide, then call it My Passage Guide. You can do the same with other guides too, so you can have a My Topic Guide for topics and a My Sermon Starter Guide for sermon themes. But don't worry if you want to run the standard passage guide in the future. That's still on the guides menu. So now, if you go back to the home page and type a passage into the Go box, Logos will run your passage guide instead of the standard passage guide, just like this. Because it only has the sections that are important to you, it generates more quickly than the standard guide, and it takes less time for you to find what you need. But don't just think about customizing the guides to create your own personalized versions of the standard guides. When you're studying, you'll probably find there's specific tasks you want to do. If so, consider creating mini-guides to help you to do that. For example, if you're studying how the Church Fathers understood the Bible, you could create a custom guide that included just the Ancient Literature section. This section includes many cross-references to the early Church Fathers and other Ancient Literature. Now, place the new guide onto your layout and set it to follow the other panels. Because there's only one section in the guide, it doesn't take up much screen space and it's lightning quick to run. If you have a whole passage guide following your Bible, it will really slow down your study as you'll have to keep waiting for all the sections to generate. But a mini guide like this one can happily follow your Bible without slowing down your study. Sometimes you can even use mini-guides to give you extra functionality. For example, you might create a special guide for journals. Add a journal section to display highly focused journal articles specifically about the passage you're studying. Then, after you've created a collection of just your journals, add a collection section to your guide. If you run that guide, you'll see that the journal section shows a few highly focused articles, whilst the collection section shows you many other articles that may not be specifically about the passage you're studying, but still mention the passage at least once. So whether you want to customize the default guides, create a cut-down guide for a specific purpose, or expand the built-in functionality, custom guide templates are a great way of personalizing your study and focusing on what matters most.